Ladies and gentlemen, here we are at LPW Super Brawl. It is April the 24th, 2010. The Hall of Fame continues. Legend after legend after legend. What can I honestly say? Well, I can tell you that today I've got one of the greatest legends in this business that has made such an impact both in and out of the ring. He is former AWA, WCW, NWA champion, ladies and gentlemen, the Russian nightmare, Nikita Koloff. And I want to <laughs> welcome you to uh, LPW, man. Great to be here, Jack. Thank you. It's absolutely, an honor. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's an honor to have you. Thank you. Um, just start off with a few questions here, and then uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the induction. All right. We can do that. All right. Question number one i got to ask you. Looking at the wrestling business now, compared to the way it was when you were in your prime, doing your thing as only you can do, i got to ask you the first question. What is your opinion on professional wrestling today as it was back in your era? Back, back, in, the, back in the heyday? Um, you know, it's, it's certainly a different business than it was back then. Uh, and I think more than, really the interesting thing for me is more than my opinion is the many fans that I meet as I travel around the country uh, and, and around the world and, and the feedback they give me, even, even just recently, as recently as... Uh, uh, last week, the last couple of weeks, as with uh, Total Package Lex Luger, who I believe you know. Absolutely. Uh, he and I were, were out, and then I was out last week in, in the Dallas Fort Worth area, and the fans over and over and over again. Well, well, so I think what I hear most most often is that's an era that will never be repeated. Um, many of them uh, have made comments how they wished it was like that again, but of course it it is what it is, and so. You know, I have a tendency to uh, to agree with them. I don't. I don't believe it is an era that will ever be repeated again either. I think it was a tremendous, uh, a tremendous time for the wrestling business, and and, and in, a, in essence, certainly set the stage for for what they do see now. Absolutely, fantastic. Well, well, that brings me to my next question. Looking at the product, past, present, if there was one wrestler that you ne that you never had the opportunity to wrestle that you wish you did. Who is the one guy you wish you would have had the opportunity to step in the ring with? Uh, I'd say there's, that's a tough question. I mean, there, there's several, uh, but I guess immediately uh, I would say Shawn Michaels um, would, 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 would be the one. Uh, although, there's, like I said, there's maybe three or four on that list that, that I wouldn't mind stepping in the ring against, but I'll, I'll go with Shawn. Shawn Michaels. Who was your toughest opponent? In, in what respect? Uh, physically or just... Uh, Taking you to the limit, going up and down the roads, if you had to say the one guy that just... Well, I, I'd have to say, of course, ooh, the nature boy, Ric Flair, was uh, certainly the consummate wrestler, but uh, you know the, the, the many, many nights that we wrestled for an hour in the ring, and, and, and with me at 285 pounds, certainly was a challenge in itself. You know, just to finish the match. That's uh, right. Uh, but I, you know, I give uh, Rick a lot of credit. I mean, I, I've often said he could take a broomstick and make it look good. You know, Absolutely. and uh, he got in the ring and worked with me, so he proved that that to be true. But uh, by by far, nature Rick Ric Flair. And again, I was in the in the ring with with many many of the greats, many of the legends. But uh, I probably wrestled him on on more one hour draws than than anybody else combined. Fantastic. Well, final question before we induct you, man. Okay. You know, normally this would be in the ring, but this is a special once-in-a-lifetime Hall of Fame ceremony here today before the show starts. And usually when it's done in the ring, we have a purpose. And there's a guy tonight, and this is where i got to ask you your question. He is my heavyweight champion, Mr. 8x10 Michael Cruz. Okay. This guy gets in there with every one of these legends. He's not necessarily the nicest guy in the world, and okay. I wouldn't be a bit surprised... If tonight, when you step into that ring to speak to the fans, he might have something to say to you. So my question to you is, do you have a message for Mr. 8x10, Michael Cruz, if he was to get into your face tonight? Well, you know, as with many opponents in the old days, uh, when I would, uh, whether I confronted him face-to-face -face or, or through a camera, um, I never backed down to anyone. Uh, didn't win every match, but I never backed down to anyone. So, Mr. 8x10, should you so choose to, to stick your nose in my business, I have but one, one thing to say, and that would be, Jatorta! Ah! You! Watch out for the Russian sickle. That's all I have to say to you. Ah! 
All I can say is I'm glad I'm not Mr. 8x10. I'm glad I'm Jack Blaze. <laughs> Brother, this is where the part of my job makes my career worth it. Mm -hmm. very first person I ever inducted was the Total Package Lex Luger mm -hmm. back in 2007. From there, Larry Zabisco, the Honky Tonk Man, Jim Neidhart, the names go on and on. But this one here is probably in a class all his own. Mm -hmm. There's certain levels that I consider in this business that have really given us all something to be proud of. And I have to say that if more professional wrestlers had the career both in and out and what you're doing now in your life, this would be a much better business, and probably we would have more wrestlers that would not have lost their lives over the years if they would follow your path. And I want to say I'm very honored to have you here tonight. Well, I'm, I'm just honored, Jack, and just, just humbled to be here. And, uh, you know, any, any type of induction is, is certainly a, a great honor, and, and certainly to be esteemed that way is uh, nothing I, I take lightly. And I just appreciate that, and, and certainly all the fans out there, both both in and out of the ring, as you said, I've always tried to, uh, you know, just be be a professional about everything I did and, and respectful, and so Absolutely. I'm just honored to be here. Well, you know, uh, Vince McMahon wants to take time and induct guys like Bob Euchre and Pete Rose. Well, that's wonderful, but you know what? The part of my job is, you might not like me, but you got to respect me. You got to respect this business because that's what this is all about, and I take the time because it's in my heart and it's what I do. And I want to show the proper respect to guys that did pave the way. And I'm honored at this time to induct a true legend that deserves it. Ladies and gentlemen, on April the 24th, 2010, that Super Brawl, I want to say thank you for your contributions. You are an inspiration for what you do right now. We all look up to you. And I, I cannot thank you enough. And it is an honor to induct you tonight. Thank you, Jack. Absolutely. That. There's That's awesome. That. There was also a Hall of Fame plaque also given to Nikita Koloff tonight as our way. All of us in this business say thank you. Thank you very much. That's awesome. Just, just great to be here. Absolutely. Thank brother. you. Appreciate it. All right. Tonight, tune in. This is just the beginning because the Russian nightmare is on his way tonight.